Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here. We have a video here today bringing you guys the first ever episode of best designer setups. So if you guys couldn't understand, they're going to be basically five really, really awesome designer setups that you guys can take some really cool inspiration from. Um, I went ahead and of course put all the links to whether it's the peripherals, uh, microphones, monitors, all that stuff in the description down below from every single one of these people that you guys end up seeing. So it kind of helps you guys out. Of course, if I just said them wrong or I pronounce them really oddly like I usually always do, uh, you can just read them what it was over there, just saying. Now it actually comes to being on the actual episode itself. Make sure you guys submit your actual setups through the Google Forms link. I just basically kind of have you guys submit them through an immigrant link for all the photos. Make sure you guys list all the PC spec names, uh, your keyboard, your peripherals, all that cool stuff. Just make it really nice and simple and informative for the people that are actually watching what they're actually looking at i think it's a really really cool series i hope you guys do enjoy today's video here today now if you guys of course like the video of course please leave a like and also if you guys have any questions of like whatever the setup happens to be for other people that you guys see in the video or whether it's a question on what was that at whatever for this person etc right just kind of ask it i'm sure they'll probably come through and kind of answer those questions and whatnot i also tell them i'll ask them myself and kind of give you the answer um regardless hope you guys enjoyed today's video touch you guys in a second i'll see you guys peace love you love you all. All right, guys, so the first ever showcase of best designer setups goes to a 3D designer known as Triumph. This guy's setup has to be like by far one of the coolest when it comes to lighting I've probably ever seen. If I were to walk into this guy's room, I, I would dead serious feel like I was walking to a nightclub, and that's like it's, it's in the best way possible. It's just that freaking cool. So, as you guys can see, he's running a dual screen monitor setup. On the right hand side, he's running a 32 inch ROG Strix monitor, and on the left hand side, he's running a basic 24 inch Asus VG248. QE model code. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and say that because there's no other there's no other brand thing there. But anyway, you can also see on his desk, okay, he has his logo actually engraved right under the lighting of his monitor, which is like uh dude, come on, bro. He just had to do that. And just to top it all off, he also has his logo on his chair, as well as you guys saw before, a steel sign on the right side of his entire setup. I mean, come on, like I need to start, I think I need to start engraving some things personally. Alright, guys, so for his peripherals, he is running a rock strip flare keyboard right under his keyboard happens to be the razor goliath extended chroma and i'm gonna lie to you i didn't even know that was a thing i actually ordered it four hours ago because i want one as well and for his mouse he is running a rog gladius 2 origin super super clean setup i'm also curious as well by the way how many of you guys run a keyboard that has like an armrest i never find myself like i guess caring for one i'm, I'm super curious if it actually does help and so to tie up the rest of his peripherals, he is running the Razer Nomo speaker system alongside with the Razer Kio as his webcam is, I believe how you say that. Um, he is running for his microphone, the Blue Yeti, and what is holding that is the Blue Compass arm. And lastly for his peripherals, he is running the ROG Delta for his headset. All right, guys, so the, for the machine that's actually running his entire setup, he is running an Intel Core i7-7700, as well as two different GPUs, one being the RTX 2080 Ti overclocked, and the other one being a GTX 1080 Ti. And for his motherboard, he's running the Asus Prime 7270A, alongside with 32 gigabytes of Corsair RAM. He's also running a four terabyte hard drive paired with a 512 gigabyte Mark II SSD, or M.2, I believe that's Mark II, I have no idea. And lastly, for his case, he's running the Corsair 570X. All right, guys, so all in all, his setup is super, super freaking clean. Cable management, spacing, I wouldn't mind whatsoever walking into this setup and being like, all right, I, I guess I got a design. I mean, you know what I mean? So if you guys want to see any of the stuff, his, his peripherals, his monitors, all that stuff will be in the description down below alongside with everybody else's setup as well. So don't have to actually, like, if I, if I said something wrong or you didn't understand, it's down there. So let's go ahead and move on to the actual next setup. All right, guys, so next up is a UI slash UX designer known as Shaw Creativity. His setup is super clean, super light, super freaking symmetrical. It's just a very, very nice thing to look at. So as you guys can see, he's running a dual screen stack monitor setup. He is running as his main monitor on the bottom, a 34 inch LG ultra wide. And on the top, he's running a 27 inch Samsung curve monitor. Now for his keyboard, he's running the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma V2. And for his mouse, he's running the Razer Mama Tournament Edition Chroma. And once again, we see a trend, the Razer Goliathus Chroma mouse pad coming through again. I cannot wait to get mine. <laughs> And to top it all off for his speakers, he is running the Logitech Z333s. All right, guys, so now for his PC, he has the Shell, the NZXT H500 ATX case, which is one of my personal favorites. When now within that, he has the Intel Core i7-8700K CPU. And for his GPU, he has the RTX 2060. He's paired that with 32 gigabytes of Trident RGB memory. And he also has a one terabyte Samsung M.2 SSD. Cooling that system is the NZXT Kraken X62 cooler. And his motherboard is the MSI Z390. 
Overall, guys, this is a prime example of a super freaking clean setup down to the actual cable management himself. I mean, it's super, super freaking pretty. I, I, I applaud you, Sean. Like, this is actually super, super freaking nice. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. As, like I said before, all the stuff that's in his setup is listed down below. All right, guys, so next up is a graphic designer that goes by the name of Cry. His setup is very reminiscent of mine, personally. It's a very nice, clean, basic setup that kind of gets the whole point and job across. It's a really nice setup as well for people who are either getting into design or who are veterans at design. It's a very clean setup, and it kind of works for either both ways. You can see as well he's running dual screen monitors, one being the Lenovo 22-inch and the other one being an HP 22F 22-inch. Now, for his peripherals, he's running the Drevo Typhering V2 keyboards, I believe how you say that. He also uh, is running the Corsair Harpoon RGB mouse. He has the same tablet as me, being the Wacom NTS S, which is S for small. He's running the Titan Wolf mouse pad, extra, extra large. And for his headset, he's running the Sharkoon B1. All right, guys, so now for his PC specs, he has a Sharkoon TG5 case alongside with a Ryzen 5 1400 CPU with a MSI 1063 gigabytes GPU alongside with eight gigabytes of memory, which you're going to need to freaking upgrade that, bro, just saying. Uh, ballistic Sport, and he has a one terabyte hard drive alongside paired with an SSD of 120 gigabytes. And for his motherboard, he is rocking a gigabyte AB350 gaming. All in all, it's a nice clean setup by Cry, and I'm very happy to showcase it nonetheless. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, guys, so the next design setup is by a 3D designer known as Romeo, also goes by DeepDZN on Twitter. And let me just say how fitting is the name Romeo, because how do you not look at this and instantly just fall in love? I mean, it's it's super aesthetic, clean. The pink and purple vibes very nicely bounce off the, even like like the, the little, he has, what is it called? Like, uh, what are those things called on your desk that's like a plant and it's not a plant, but it's a plant? The word was succulents, by the way, I remembered, but the setup itself is super, super nice. On his desk, he has a 43-inch super ultra-wide display from Samsung. He also has as his keyboard the Razer Ornata Chroma, and for his mouse, he has the Razer Lance Head, and for his mouse pad, he has the HyperX Fury. So he also added the fact that the pictures that you guys see for this episode were taken on his camera, and the camera name is actually the Pentax K5 MK2, and I can just say it looks freaking phenomenal and super, super nice. And uh, lastly, for his microphone, he has the Shure mic. Uh, I believe that's a really, really nice mic, by the way. I need to get one of those for me personally. And the mic arm, again, is the Blue Arm Compass, which happens to be a bit of a trend for these nice setups, so I know what I gotta do next. Just saying. Now, for what is inside this beautiful setup's PC, he is rocking an i9-9900K alongside with a 2080 Ti paired with 32 gigabytes of RAM. He has two terabyte uh, SSD as well as two terabyte regular hard drive. He's also rocking NZXT water cooling. And to top it all off, he has an Intel Optane 32 gigabyte, which I did not know it was until I Googled it when I saw it. So Romeo's setup is super, super freaking nice, super pretty. You can also see some things he left off the list on the screen right now. He has a tablet. You can see some uh, two cameras off to the left. He has Bose headphones, really nice mixers, sound mixers, sound stuff that I don't know that I really don't know if you guys can name some of it. Or maybe if he sees the video, he'll be like, oh, this is what it was. Um, regardless, it's super, super nice. I appreciate the, also the high quality pictures as well as I'm sure you guys do appreciate them. And with that being said, Romeo's setup is super, super clutch. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to our last setup of today's video. All right, so for the last setup of today's video, we are looking at yet again another 3D designer known as Greg, aka Proxy. We're looking at our first triple monitor setup of the entire series, might I add. I'm very, very curious. I've always wanted them, but then I feel like I didn't need them, but then I feel like I don't know until I have them. I want you guys to let me know in the comments section below, do you guys have one monitor, two monitors, three monitors, and if you have more, why? Just let me know why, maybe? Like, what do you do? I'm curious. All right, so for the monitors that he's actually using in his setup, he's using three Samsung Gunning the model code because why not c27 fg70 and they're 27 inches they are 144 hertz and the desk that's actually sitting on is called a halberd stoic I've, i know them to be like a very very nice premium desk and it looks really nice and good and complements your actual trip monitor setup because it kind of curves with it too i think it's pretty nice so for greg's peripherals he's actually using a lot g pro wireless mouse he also said he's getting shipped uh, a lot mx master for his next mouse and for his keyboard he's using a ducky one tkl plus the miami cap set for his headphones he's using the sennheiser 598 cs he's also using a lot of tech g640 mouse pad and to wrap it all up he has a graphics tablet the wacom nts draw and as well as his webcam c920 so now for his pc we actually don't have a good shot of however he is running a gtx 1070 ti as well as an i7 8700 with 16 gigabytes of memory as well as a two terabyte hard drive and he put 500 megabyte ssd but i believe he went with 500 gigabyte ssd super solid computer and i think it's just a really nice compliment 
comments to your actual PC setup. And uh, once again, I appreciate you, Greg, or it's really weird to say my own name, Greg, but AKA Proxy for the submission, and I hope you guys enjoy his setup. All right, guys, so that pretty much includes our first ever video on best design setups. I think it's a very, very fun, cool idea. You guys love the idea on Twitter. You guys are like, yo, that'll be freaking sick. It's a really cool spot for designers, veterans, or new, just to come in and understand some really cool, fun design setups that people spend hours upon hours on and power, like literally sitting in. So it's a really cool atmosphere that you should, of course, love as well. So hopefully, kind of giving you guys a nice little aspect of, of other people's will help you give inspiration for your own. So with that being said, guys, if you guys are interested in actually submitting your own setup in the series, make sure you guys just use it link in the description down below i mean there's no reason if it's clean if it's like super crazy if it's super rgb whatever there's no rgb i'm curious i'm sure someone else out there will actually love your setup and they'll get pretty much inspired by it now i do hope you guys enjoyed today's video once again of course make sure you guys leave a like on the video if you guys want the series to of course continue and if any other questions you guys have i'm pretty sure the people who actually submitted their setups will actually be in the comments section below so if you have a question maybe be like at whatever the name was or whatever you know what i mean be like hey what was this that you use or what was that i'm pretty sure they'll be happy to help of course and uh yeah i'm just I'm just curious what you guys have thoughts about the series much love i'll talk to you guys later since the hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later peace